Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Bees Knees podcast. Today, we have a very special guest who's going to share a very, you know, calming, inspiring experience uh, with his knee recovery. I'm with Ron this morning. Ron, would you like to introduce yourself? Morning. I am Ron, (laughs) uh, 55-year-old recipient of two new knees this year. (laughs) <laughs> Fantastic. Well, all right. So what began your journey, Ron? Why why did you say, oh boy, I need to have knee, re- knee replacement? Well, you know, uh, it probably crept up through my 40s, I guess. Things were getting a little creaky and achy. And, um, you know, finally, by the time I was about probably 47, 48, it was bad enough that I went to see a, a surgeon, I guess, orthopedic surgeon and started taking shots. Um you know, I, uh, walks weren't as comfortable and uh, even biking, things like that had gotten not so great. And uh, so with that, uh, with that doctor, I started getting, I guess it was the steroid shots or cortisone, um, tried the Uflexa. Uh, finally, by the time I was about 54 and I, I don't know, what that, is that the one they call the pig fat? <laughs> <laughs> and uh didn't work so well anymore. I had uh, uh, tried rowing, I learned to row. Um, and, uh, you know, the knees didn't bend like they should and everything was uncomfortable. And uh, the, the doctor I had at the time had kept telling me, kind of put it off, put it off when I started. And my wife got me to switch doctors and I'll, I'll throw out my doctor's name, Dr. Ferentz. When I switched to Dr. Ferentz, he was like, I think by then I was maybe 53. And he's like, uh, maybe even 54, I guess it was because I'd already tried the other shots. And he was like, listen, you know, God gave me the power to take away pain. And <laughs> you're not too young for this. We've had all kinds of, uh, uh, you know, uh, innovations and, you know, you, you'll be great. And so he put me at ease and uh, we started the process towards the left knee replacement. And uh, thankfully, with Dr. Ferentz uh, came the X10 machine, which... Uh, <laughs> just made everything so simple and easy. It really did. Okay. So, all right. So you have surgery uh, with the X10. Did you receive that before surgery? I did. I got day? it just okay. about a week ahead of time. Uh, this <laughs> magnificent little, uh, I shouldn't say little, <laughs> kind of a nice big sturdy chair and a tower and the computer. And, uh, uh, you know, at first I was like, you know, what is this thing? But uh I think it was Matt who brought it in and, you know, within 45 minutes, I was like an old pro sitting there in the chair all lined up and uh, we had reached out to coach Kim and, you know, made sure all systems were go. And I'm a guy really, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not like, uh, you know, I've always fought with Wade and I haven't been like Mr. You know, athletics all my life. Uh, um you know, so like even touching my toes was kind of a challenge for me. I'm not, I'm just not a real flexible uh, a guy. So when I sat on the machine, I think I got maybe to what they call like the 18 degree for your extension. And so my leg, of course, wouldn't quite go straight. But even after, I think it was maybe about five days, probably two times a day I did it, I think then uh, I got all the way to like what the seven degree mark which was way closer to being able to, you know, stretch my legs perfectly straight. Well, that was the left leg at the time. So, uh, so even before I did surgery, you know, I, I was pretty comfortable. I, I had the machine down pat. I knew how to adjust the buttons and, uh, you know, feeling like an old, really like an old pro before I even had surgery. That's fantastic. So I imagine that helped you move into surgery more confident, more peaceful. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Plus in better shape for it too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, 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 because at that point I was a believer that, oh, you know, it's, it's not hard to use the machine. Um, I can get more flexible, (laughs) but you know, when you're in your fifties, you're like, wherever I am is what I am. Um, and, and, you know, by that I, I had spoken to, uh, you know, uh, Aaron, who called to set up the machine, Matt, who came to deliver it, Coach Kim, who walked me through, you know, uh, the prehab and everything. 
And I was I was feeling really good that the support system, you know, everything from the way the book was laid out to Matt's instructions to Kim's instruction, it was all just so step by step and easy to follow that I was like, you know, bring it on. Let's see what's next. So, yeah, I was I was kind of I don't know if excited is the right <laughs> word, but definitely comfortable. Definitely wonderful. Comfortable. Well, that's yeah. huge, right? Oh yeah, because <laughs> yeah. knee recovery is not known to be a walk in the park, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I had not heard good stories, <laughs> and, and I got to say, you, a lot of people are probably going to hear those stories from a lot of people, but uh, I'll say it now, early on. Uh, I, I really believe the X10 changed that story arc, uh, you know, because uh, you're know, out looking around at people afterwards going like a week in, like, this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, <laughs> Well, fantastic. So, all right. So what was your goal? All right. I'm going to have knee surgery and after I'm recovered or, I, you know, this is, you know, this is what I want to do next. How, what was your goal? Like what was going through your mind as you were, you, you know, going through your recovery using the X10, right? What what was what was on your mind? Yeah, I think, you know, first and foremost was like, hey, I just want to get back to where, you know, I can drive comfortably. I can uh, take a walk with my, you know, wife and kids. Uh, I, you know, heck, even putting up Christmas lights, right? Like last year, the year before I had either knee done, you know, that was kind of a grueling thing. So I was like, if I can put Christmas lights up this year, uh, you know, that would be wonderful if I'm not kind of limping around afterwards. Um, heck, just uh, getting back to school. I, I, I teach high school and put in a lot of steps visiting teachers during the day. And I thought, if I can just walk the building, you know, afterwards and not have the pain I used to have when I got home, that would be great. And, uh, you know, uh, spoiler alert. It, it's much better now. So, <laughs> so well, better. you had mentioned to me about your climbing up the stairs to put up the lights. Can you revisit oh. that with me? Is that oh. a great story? That was quite oh. inspiring. <laughs> yeah. So, so like um, in between these surgeries, um, and I, I got to say, from the first one, you know, the first one went so well um, that when I went to do my uh, follow up with Dr. Ferentz, I think it was two weeks later, I was like, so when do we schedule the right knee? And he's like, oh, you know, give yourself the 12 to 14 weeks or whatever. And, you know, people take, I said, Dr. Ferentz, by the time the paperwork gets done and things, I guarantee you, you know, if it's week eight, week 10, by the time they schedule it and everything, I'm going to be ready to go. And he's like, really? And I was like, I'm telling you that, you know, with the machine, it's my, I'm already at, and as folks will learn, you know, I was already at, I think, like two weeks in, maybe the 120s. I'd, I'd have to look back at my yeah, sheet. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, you, you know, so the range of motion was really good. So he agreed to start the paperwork. And uh, there were a couple of things happening. Um, some dates were canceled, but I, I found myself early November looking at a November 21st for my second knee operation. I thought, I better put those Christmas lights up, you know, before. <laughs> before I do it. And I thought, I wonder how the left knee is going to respond to going up and down a ladder. And uh, I tell you, I spent about an hour going up and down, moving the ladder back and forth. The right knee was still, of course, not happy. But <laughs> you know what, when I was done with the left, you know, the left knee was like, I hadn't felt for probably 10, 15 years trying to remember back to wow. not having that kind of pain and um, just really getting up and down the ladder with my left knee was so much easier. And again, I, I think the flexibility of the knee, my range of motion was just so fluid that it was easy peasy. So it just, uh, you know, I couldn't wait to get the right knee done and go through the same process. So. Oh, fantastic. Right. That's got, yeah. that had to be so motivating to move in. Oh, having yeah, the second I, was, done. <laughs> I almost right? took pictures. I almost took pictures and sent them to Dr. Ferris, but I wasn't quite <laughs> sure if he would have wanted me up on the ladder. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll keep that a secret. <laughs> well, I told him about later and he's just like, well, that's great. That means your, your knee is healthy. And we, you know, we took care of it. So, so it all to a happy ending. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so now I have the numbers from when you when you got your second knee done, and they're mm. phenomenal. I mean, my gosh! All right, so you you again had the machine for prehab, right? And then you mm. moved into rehab with the machine, and then yeah. um, two weeks post surgery, you were reaching numbers that everyone declares out there in the orthopedic world that you could do everyday living activities within two weeks, mm. and then yeah. within. 25 days you had hit zero and 128 for a range of motion now that's yeah. phenomenal the machine itself can hit zero and 130 right, right. so you are right. um, almost max the machine out right then and there with just a little <laughs> over three weeks so tell well, me a little bit about that how'd that feel <laughs> well so so it you know it, it was great and there were either there were even some things that popped up family issues and stuff so you know a few of the days i didn't hit my three sessions a day and i was worried about it but you know what because i still did it once or twice each of those days and kept it going everything just stayed as smooth as could be it uh and i only say that because like i you know if it weren't for those three days i'd hit 130. <laughs> <laughs> but, and again it's I, I have to I cannot stress enough. This is not like because um, I'm a guy who like, man, I work out at the gym six times a week and I hit a you know, I, I, I do this physical therapy like nobody's business. This is because I, I sat down at the machine. I followed the protocol as the machine, you know, as the uh, as folks will find out if they use the X10, uh, you know, with the, the uh, pounds of resistance. As long as everything was in line and I'd go up a couple degrees, I just followed the machines, kind of followed the machines lead. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't let me go further than I should have. And I, I just kept adding those two or three degrees, maybe each day, every other day. And uh, I, I got kind of crazy about it and made a little chart. So I kind of track every three minutes. I'd try to add a degree or two. But uh, with or without that, it, the you know, the machine... It, it it just it, it's so fluid and so easy that even an old and flexible muscle guy like me can sit down on it and 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 really I um, you know the other thing I was thinking about is um, the range of motion was one part of it but but what what gave me a lot of confidence I think was I think it was like maybe the fourth day where we added the leg press right and the yeah. calf press yeah and then you're like. Well, you know, at first you're kind of tentative and you push down and then you see the numbers go up and um, it, it uh, just being able to do that. You're like, well, if I can do that, you know, I'll be able to tackle the stairs in a couple of days or I'll be able to, mm -hmm. you know, uh, go out and walk the block. No problem, because if I've got that kind of leg strength and, and it was nice because what if uh, maybe. Four days after that, you had the, what they call the concentric and the eccentric, where you kind of resist the machine a little bit and push the machine a little bit. And again, you have a coach there going like, "Oh my gosh, that's great! You're, you know, you're doing it," and and your confidence level just goes up, where you're like, "Well, okay, if I can do this, it it just reteaches you." Like I realize, especially for the left knee, a lot of it was like, I didn't know what I could do until you do it. And with the X10, there were so many little things that just like, you know, at first you're like, oh, I don't want my incision to come apart. <laughs> well, you know, it doesn't come apart. Duh. Uh, you know, you, you worry <laughs> about that kind of stuff, but the machine right away is like, well, if I can move my leg like this, I'm okay. And, and, and so much of it is just uh, building that confidence. And, and it's really wonderful because, it, and then you get the weekly tests with the, I think it was the isometrics, I think it was. Yeah, that's um, right. And those weekly tests, you see that you continue to grow and you just, it, to me, it was like impossible not to feel better about, more confident about what was going on with my my knees to the point where really some of the people that had knee surgery would laugh and say, well, you know, how is it getting around on a cane? Or, you know, when are you going to get to start driving? I'm like, Heck, I, I've been off the pain pills since like a week and a half in. And, uh, you know, the cane was gone probably after about six, seven days, maybe really, uh, unless, you know, I went outside or something on uneven ground. Because just between the, the range of motion and the, the strength exercises, 
it was just like you can walk again. Like you, you, you realize that, you know, it, it's, it's, um, it's all part of the healing. And, you know, it wasn't always like, Oh, that's totally pain free. But very early on, it was, it was very manageable without, you know, more medications and everything else. And, and in my mind, I really, I, I give all kinds of credence to Dr. Ferentz, uh because of the methods he uses. Sure. Um, but I am totally convinced there's no way I would have been at the 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 kind of growth I was at and the kind of comfort I was without the X10. And and I can say that pretty confidently because like by my third week I was an outpatient and you know uh outpatient therapy. And even before that, really, I, I should say when my in-home physical therapist showed up on like day four or five. And measured, and I was already past 90 degrees range of motion. He's kind of looking at me like, what have you been doing? And, and I, I swear, it's almost like an infomercial. I'm like, the X10 over there. <laughs> because he's like, well, what's it doing? I kind of showed him. And he says, wow, your numbers are like, you know, like, this is where I'd hope to get you by the time we end together. And then when I went to outpatient, they were like, oh, my gosh, it's like you've been with us for four or five weeks already. What have you been doing? And I said, the X10. And and uh and I was surprised, frankly, that people weren't more familiar with it. Because I'm like, this thing is uh and if I if I wasn't convinced of it completely, when I met somebody, I think I've been going outpatient maybe about a week, and another patient came in, she had her knee all bandaged up still, and I had a cane and her husband had driven her. And I was like, Oh, a knee replacement? And she's like, yeah, as a matter of fact, and and honestly, she didn't look nearly as happy as I did. Um, she was still on pain meds. Uh, she's like, you know, her range of motion. She's like, yeah, it, it's terrible. Um, and and you know, I got to talk to her. I said, well, did you you know X ten? Nope, didn't have anything like that. And it's you know, all these little clicks in my mind are just like, this thing's got to be the difference maker because meeting people after my surgery kind of confirmed it the 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 folks i knew that had knee surgery before i had knee surgery you know none of them had a story like this i, I have one friend who had her left knee done and the right knee is kind of bugging her but she's not sure she wants to have it done because you know it wasn't as great of an experience for her and i really think the X10 was, you know, well, Dr. Ferentz and the X10 together really, for me, just made such a difference. And when I first, you know, part of my day consists of, you know, fielding calls that come in all around the United States of people mm -hmm. who are stuck, right? They're miserable, they're scared, their recovery mm -hmm. hasn't gone the way that they wanted it to, they're not, not nearly nearly functional as, as they had expected to be. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's scary for them. And I always tell them yeah. there's two things you need to get right. And I have a great surgeon, right. Who does, mm -hmm. you know, puts your knee yeah. in right. Absolutely. And then also, right. Handles the surgery correctly. And then after that, you have to have an amazing, great recovery plan. And what yeah. the X10 does is just updates you, right. It uses today's technology. <laughs> you know, with the machine, you have repeatability, you have precision. You don't need a long recovery time in between therapy sessions. That's why you were doing 21 in a week, right? That's huge. Yeah. Makes a yeah, difference. It, Makes a difference. It, yeah, it was, it, yeah, it, it, it just, <laughs> it was, it was really easy with, with the X10. It really was. Um, I, you know, I, one thing, one of the stories that comes to mind right now is, um, uh, in fact, might have been my my uh, coach, Kim, who had said, when you go to outpatient therapy, um, you know, they're going to take a hold of your leg and start, you know, blah, 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 and this and that. And, you know, just be open and let them know when it's too much. And my my stepdad had it done and all he really had was a therapist who showed up at the house and started you know well let's move this knee and blah 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 and and all the stories i heard were like you know it's going to be kind of excruciating you're going to need those pain pills afterwards or take one before or whatever and i gotta tell you i between the in-home therapist and the outpatient therapist no one ever grabbed my leg because when they showed up, I was already 
above and beyond where they expected me to be. And they said, well, hey, just keep doing that because it's working. You know, it's (laughs) It's working. working. (laughs) I mean, really, by the time I went to outpatient, I was probably already in the 120s. And and really, by the time the in-home showed up, he was like, well, you know, you're kind of at the point where we would consider you you know, yeah. serviceable. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You, I think you used the word, but it's like, you're like, you know, normal living conditions. You could get by with this range of motion. If it, and I think that was maybe around 110, maybe. Is yep. that right? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember all my numbers. No, nope, that's it. Yep. But he's like, yeah, you're kind of so we, we spent a lot of time <laughs> chatting. <laughs> well, let me ask you, with your second knee, like, did you go to outpatient with your second knee? I can't remember. No, you know, that that's, was in the back of my mind. I, and I told Dr. Ferentz, I said, listen, if if I don't have in-home or outpatient, I'll be fine with that. If insurance is run out, whatever, I don't care. As long as I have, and I, and I cannot stress it enough, the X10 by itself, especially for the right knee, uh, it was all I needed. And, and a lot of that, I will say, um, a lot of that is because having done the left knee, I had the exercises from the, you know, in-home. And and again, that was the first time around having an in-home and having somebody say, okay, well, you know, get up and walk and try this and that. Uh, you know, there, there, there are some elements of it that gave me some comfort too. I won't say that, you know, having a physical therapist, period, didn't help. But, you know, especially for the second one, having experienced some of those things, by the second time, I was like, you know, the X10 was was all I needed. Um, the first time it was more like physical therapy kind of was like maybe some training wheels. So you got comfortable being upright, but, uh, but you know, the, the X10 is the bike. It's, it's the, it's the one that, you know, uh, once you're experienced with it, really, I, I would still say you, you could get away with the X10 in just a few days of somebody maybe coming by and Okay, let me double check some things, but uh, the the X ten was really the uh, the foundation of my recovery, uh, and and again, still doing the exercises afterwards, doing the stretches and the the band exercises, um, that helps absolutely helps you keep regaining your strength. But um, I, I just can't imagine why every physical therapist you know across the land shouldn't have this X ten as part of, you know, if, even if it's, you go to outpatient and, you know, it's there, uh, but somehow, some way, it, it just seems like a no brainer that this, this should be part of everybody's knee recovery. Well, thanks, Ron. You know, it, uh, hearing it from you, who's actually experienced it with both knees, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sure that it feels everybody out there who's listening, you know, our intention is to make you confident you know, yeah. make you, you're right to help you move forward, having wisdom and knowledge on the right path that fits fits you, right, and your right. goals and your desires. You know, if you know healing faster and getting off pain meds faster and uh, having a, a really a great outcome mm-hmm. is important, right? You you want to yeah. listen to people who've who've accomplished that and how? Oh, that's yeah. huge. That's huge. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, I, I can't say enough. I I, I really. Uh, I think I've joked with <laughs> many. It's like you know, my I I hopefully be able to retire from teaching maybe in a year, and it just might be my calling to get out there and, and spread the word about the X ten. Well, we would uh, love it. We would love it to have to have you on our side. That's uh, for sure. <laughs> well, let me let me ask you one more question. Sure. So, what's life now with two right great knees? How, what's on your agenda for fun? <laughs> well, you know what, uh, I'm, I'm I'm back. Uh, we just took about, I'm going to call it a two mile walk at the marsh. Yay! Uh, this weekend. Yeah. And, you know, my <laughs> wife and daughter kept like, you know, are, are we going too fast for you? I'm like, uh-huh. oh, can you guys move? <laughs> I'm coming through. Um, so you know, walking, which uh, so you know, really, you. I got to the point where a hundred yards would have been like, Ugh, do I really? Tough. I, I had stopped going to my son's uh, rowing regattas because I didn't want to walk the distance to go uh, see things. Yeah. And, you know, I, I can't wait because uh, this spring I'll be able to, you know, walk the distances 
uh, heck, I'm going to be back in the rowing program. Last summer, I had to skip it because my knees were just, Fantastic. I couldn't even crawl in the boat. <laughs> uh, so this, the goal is by June, I, I won't be the guy crawling into the boat. I'll be <laughs> sitting. <laughs> I got a lot of looks from people. They're like, is that guy okay? Is he going <laughs> to? I was always the last. You had to count off in the boat if you, you were ready and strapped in. And I was always the last guy because it just took me a little longer to get there. But this time I'm going to be like, one, two, three. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, that's I tell goal, you what, yeah. right? Yeah, Freedom. Yes, right. Can't wait to take bike oh, rides. Right. My daughter and I were up to like, I don't know, 15 mile bike rides at one point last summer. That was off the table. Wow. So I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to do those things again. Uh, and yeah, that'll be that'll be good. Well, that sounds amazing, Ron. Right. I could not well, be happier for you. Well, yeah, I, I, I thank you all because it, it really, it's, uh, you know, really, I'm thinking in four months, you know, I went from bad knees to good knees. And and really, it's just a matter of continuing to, you know, follow the program and stay active. And I'm I'm living a much, much better life with the knees replaced. That's fantastic. Well, that's uh, the goal, right? That's the whole reason you started all this. Right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you met for your sure. goal and then some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Next yeah. is the way to go. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I yeah, wish you, you continued Mary. vibrant health, right? All yeah. that good stuff, right? Everything you're dreaming of and more, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I told you I'm going to send you pics. Uh, once, yeah. Once I'm back rowing. I'm can't, wait. Pics, so. <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait, can't <laughs> wait. All right, sounds great. Thank <laughs> you.